Hey there, Captain Giddies. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues. And when I woke up this morning, I actually had a notification from Facebook from a good friend of mine, John. Thank you very much for sending the heads up my way. That uh, the first official look of Henry Cavill in Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice has hit the webs. Uh, you know, as far as in his new Superman suit, they were supposed to have tweaked this suit, and you can notice minor tweaks like uh, the chest emblem seems a slightly bit smaller. Uh, the suit seems a little little bit more vibrant in color, although that could just be the particular image in question. Um, you know, the gauntlets on his arms seem to be a little bit bigger, uh, longer in any case, from wrist up the arm, from you know, the Man of Steel suit, and uh, when it comes to sort of where the belt buckle would be, it's instead of more like an oval, it's more like a rectangle now. Um, and there are other little things here and there throughout the suit. One of the big things with this debut image, though, is just how stacked Henry Cavill looks. I mean, he looks even bigger than he did in Man of Steel, and that just really gets me excited. Um, there's an article, I'll be linking the article, which also contains the image below, uh, so you can check it out if you haven't seen it. One of the things that really puts it over the, you know, over the top for me as far as excitement goes is an interview USA Today had with Zack Snyder, the director of the piece, of course, and he's really talking about how even though people are really kind of falling under the suspicion that this will not be a Superman centric film, it's really going to retain the focus of Superman. You know, he, he's a newcomer to this world, this adopted home world of his now, and he's going to really see his perspectives challenged and potentially changed by not only what he's gone through in the first movie, having to kill General Zod as a last recourse and uh, all of the stuff that follows on from that, the repercussions, dealing with villains like Lex Luthor, um, as well as other uh, potential villains and stuff like that, as well as being confronted with fellow heroes the world abroad. You know, I mean, we're talking Aquaman, uh, Cyborg, Wonder Woman, Batman. Of course, Batman is going to be the big contender. And, you know, I already posted a video talking about my less than stellar appraisal of the title of this film, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Well, I actually like it a lot more now that, you know, this interview with Zack Snyder concluded where basically he's saying the reason for the singular V, and this was a point of contention I had in the title originally, um, rather than a full-on versus is because he's trying to dial back the aspect that this is going to be a full-on versus film. That's exactly what I was hoping. That's exactly what I wanted to know and am so psyched to hear that it's not going to be a full-on Batman dukes it out with Superman film. It's going to be, there are going to be elements of that probably within the story. They are going to have some contentions between each other at some point, but primarily it looks like, you know, this is really going to be the formation of a Justice League kind of thing where these heroes are going to come together under a common threat, under, under common adversaries and stuff like that. And whatever adversarial relationship they're going to have amongst themselves is going to be part of the growth process. And I like that Zack Snyder basically says that this is really going to still be focused with Superman's perspective on the world. He's going to be, you know, observing the world around him, interacting with these heroes and stuff like that. And it's really still self-contained to his perspective and viewpoint. Thus, he will still be the main focus. And, um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that's everything I wanted with this particular film. I am that much more excited. I mean, I'd jump for joy if I could. And so, yeah, I mean, um, through the roof now with these images of Ben Affleck's Batman and now Henry Cavill's Superman. We also got an image of him as Clark Kent, which looks really dynamite. I love the aesthetic they're going for, more uh, modern and everything like that. And um, so, yeah, I, I couldn't be more excited about this movie. And I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you think of the new suit, the uh, minor tweaks that it had, adjustments, if you will. And all of this information, is this answering your concerns that Superman might be ousted from the limelight? Because for me, it sounds to me like he is going to be every much in the limelight, the way I hoped and wished and prayed he would be. And uh, the other heroes are going to be along with him on that journey. So otherwise, let me know down below how you feel about all this. And I hope this video finds you well. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.